Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. The city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? 
Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. The mine place. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it? We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Ah, 
Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Step one, examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Think.
Keep trying. Doesn't look right. That's not right. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time, the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters.
<clears throat> Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Confidential matters of confidential. Look, I get that the UFO thing was a joke, but you're probably trained to joke. Anderson. <clears throat> hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. <laughs> <laughs> 